By the time the sun rises over central Australia, work has already begun for these solar car drivers. This is what we do every evening and every morning, really making sure that we fill up that battery because we cannot charge it all during this race. And with this, as an LED turns energy to light, we take the solar cells and we get them to turn light into energy. Eight teams have been forced to withdraw from the challenge in the first two days, many with battery failure. But with the sun shining, the lion's share of competitors successfully made it to Alice Springs throughout the day. Some teams pulling in a little bit too quickly. The weather has so far been kind to these sun-seeking teams, but that could be about to change, with clouds and a chance of rain forecast for South Australia in the coming days. We don't get as much energy from the sun, so we cannot uh, use that same energy, so we're going to have to slow down a bit. And sometimes, going slow is a matter of safety in these lightweight vehicles. It's going to be dangerous if we uh, cross ways with a road train, and then we get no wind and then all of a sudden a big gust of wind with us going a certain speed. So we all have to manage that going through in South Australia. Towards the end of the third day, Dutch teams Brunel and Twenty led the pack, shortly ahead of reigning champions Inoptus from Belgium. Western Sydney University is the leading Australian team in eighth position overall. Joseph Hathaway-Wilson, ABC News.